Hello, I'm Nikhil, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today, I'm going to show you how to use AWS command line interface to enforce MFA authentication for AWS identity and access management users. Let's get started. IAM users who use AWS Management Console are explicitly prompted to enter MFA authentication credential when they log in and access AWS services. However, IAM users who use the AWS CLI aren't prompted to enter MFA authentication credential by default and can still access AWS services. In AWS, IAM users can interact with AWS CLI, use their permanent credential to invoke AWS API action with or without MFA authentication. To review the difference between console login and AWS CLI usage, refer to this table. To begin with, let's first log into AWS Management Console and navigate to AWS IAM service. Click on Users. I created an IAM user test with admin access. Then I added an inline policy and force MFA to the IAM user test to restrict actions if MFA is not used while calling any API action. As you can see, when I try to log in into the AWS Management Console, I'm prompted to use MFA. Now, let's see what happens if I try to do the same with AWS CLI. Note, make sure that you are using the latest version of AWS CLI. I first make sure that I am using the correct user credential with AWS CLI by running this command. After that, if I run any AWS CLI command, I see that the IAM user can call any API actions without using MFA. This happens because the multi-factor auth present key doesn't exist in the request made using long-term credentials using AWS CLI. With the Boolean condition operator, if the key in the pulse isn't present, then the values don't match. Hence, the multi-factor auth present key doesn't deny access to requests made using long-term credentials. I am users using the AWS Management Console generate temporary credentials and allow access only if MFA is used. To instead enforce MFA restriction for permanent credentials as well, let's use the if exist condition operator to check if the multi-factor auth present key is present in the request. If exist work to check this condition. If the policy key is present in the context of the request, then process the key as specified in the policy. If the key is not present, then evaluate the condition element as true. So let's modify the inline policy, enforce MFA, and add the Boolean if exist condition operator. Now, if the AWS multi-factor auth present key isn't present in the request context, then the condition in the IAM policy will still evaluate as true and effect deny will take place. That means that IAM user test using long-term credential will get exit denied error requested API action. Let us test the upgraded enforce MFA inline policy. Now, as we can see, the same user can't call I am list groups because multi-factor auth present key is not present with long-term credential. To overcome this situation, I am user test must generate temporary credential using an MFA token. Let us see how it can be done. So now you know how to use AWS CLI to enforce MFA authentication for IAM users. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing.